Hello scrappers! Today I'm scrapping this. This is a Lexmark. Uh, it's got a model number on it. It's a model. Machine type model. 4420001. It's a USB. It's not wireless or nothing. It's an older model. But it's a scanner. This is an X2350. That's what it is. It doesn't got a scanner in it. Now this glass, this is tempered. Um, when this breaks, it's going to break into a million tiny little pieces. Um, you want to avoid breaking it. And I can see circuit board. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's awesome. That's the power supply. Let's get a pre-weight, pre-scrap weight. We got a little over eight and a quarter pounds. We'll start with this little power supply. Usually you can just pop stuff apart. And I'm not seeing anything too yummy here. Tempted to just throw this whole thing in the copper bearing bucket just the way it is. I see some copper in there we can get out. Because this... The copper is really difficult to get out of this. It's usually not really worth the time. Is that aluminum? No. Let's see if I can get... Get this little piece of copper out here. Kind of want to keep the board as heavy as possible. There, and everything else can stay on there. There is a transistor in there. I think I'll be getting that transistor out too. You know me and my copper. Gotta get it all, it's like a Pokemon. Stuff goes flying everywhere. We got some number two copper. I'm gonna get some stuff on the scale quick before it shuts off. And some copper bearing. Copper bearing circuit board. It's pretty heavy. And some tin. Ooh, get that transistor out. Lots of sharp edges here. Watch this spin and cut my hand. Nope. I could just see it happening. There's not much copper in here, but it is there. Okay, a little plate of copper in there. So that's number two copper. It's ten. And I can see circuit board in there. I always try to avoid breaking that glass as much as I can. If I can help it. Oh, look at that! This might be easy. That's off. This is where the glass shatters and I get caught and everybody laughs at me. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. We got it. Careful with that. All right. I do recommend wearing gloves and safety glasses. I'm pretty good at shutting my eyes really quick. <laughs> And this right here is usually silver. Ooh, silver contacts. Be plucking them off. Where's my little baby needle, my little baby pliers? There they are. 
Thought you guys were hiding. Just get underneath them and they kind of pop right up. There is a tiny little piece of silver inside of these. And I'm gonna throw all this right here in my copper bearing bucket. And these little guys we save. I wanna get enough of them, a big jar full of them. I'll list them on eBay. Ribbon cable, there's a piece of ferrite. This is the scanner bar. This is also glass in here. Put some gloves on because I want to twist it. A good chance that might break. I'm twisted to get the board out. Oh, look at that, it came out. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's looking like a pretty nice little board there. I'm gonna just throw it in my green board bucket. But this is a gold bearing board. You can see little gold traces in there. That'll go in the green board bucket. Green on both sides. Some more tin. And there's some kind of motor in here. Look how rusty that screw is. We're too insulated. These little pieces of ferrite, these can go in the tin bucket. This is ferrite. They use it too. These ends here are probably silver again. I'm just gonna throw it in my uh, number two insulated bucket. That's where I'm throwing this stuff. I'll at least get wire price for it. Is that brass? That is brass. I bet this little gear will lift right off. Nope. Looks like I might end up staying on this motor. Small motors like this. My scrapyard only gives me copper bearing for them. Got more copper bearing and some number two insulated. Some more tin. Let's get this circuit board out. One more screws. Not seeing any more screws. There you go. Can't take it apart. Break it apart. Ink cartridge? Yes, it is. It's a three color. You don't see them too often. Um, there is a little piece of gold in here. I'm going to sell these on eBay. I have quite a, quite a pile of them now. And people are going to refill them or people are going to scrap them. I think they're worth more on eBay. Or you can bring them to Staples, Office Max, Office Depot. I happen to work at a print shop and we get store credit. For ink and toner cartridges. We buy lots of office supplies. Number 10. We don't need to get all the screws out because I mainly just want the circuit boards and the motors and the good stuff. I'm not looking to take this whole thing apart and get all the plastic out of it. There's another screw down there. there. Can't be much holding this metal in. There we go. There's 
got to be another screw somewhere I'm missing. Got it right there. Can't take it apart, break it apart. Now a lot of these have a sensor in them because every single time you fire it up, your inkjet will purge a little bit of ink into the diaper to soak it up. And that diaper can only hold so much. So there's usually a moisture sensor in here to tell this machine that it's garbage, so you have to throw it out. So these only these only print so many. You can only run so many ink cars just through them before they're garbage anyways. I want that golden ribbon cable and I want this circuit board. Get this garbage out of the way. Green on both sides. That's neat, they got a piece of ferrite around the USB for noise cancellations, for uh, static, electronical noise. Clip the little ferrite cap off. And more number two copper. And some number two insulated. Not seeing anything else too good on here. Are those tantalums? They don't look like it. They would have a C next to them. See, they got a D. I don't think so. We got some green on both sides. Number two insulated. Some more number two copper. Now is this rod brass? Somebody's sometimes these are brass. I want this motor. Smaller bit. Smaller bit for smaller screws. Copper bearing motor. And after I get this gold out of there, the rest of this will go in the tin bucket. Oh, we got another motor here. Didn't even see you. You were hiding. Got to get this gear off. Her brake part of it. So I can get to my screws. Another copper bearing motor. Look at that. Nice gold bearing ribbon cable. I'm going to put this in with my copper mylars. Not my copper mylars, my silver mylars, and I'm going to go through this. I do have a bucket of gold mylar in the other garage. I'll be adding that too. Another nice little piece of green board. Green on both sides. Uh, 
And I'm seeing more ribbon cable in here. Don't know where it went, but she gone. It'll turn up. So, looks like that's it. Let's see how we did. A little over two and a quarter pounds. We had a pound and a half of tin for the tin pile. See if this registered. Doesn't even register. And I know this wire doesn't weigh enough. Not enough wire here. I got some number two copper. Some number two insulated. You got a quarter kilograms. We got half a pound of copper bearing. And this doesn't weigh much. We got some green board. Green board goes in the green bucket. Copper bearing. That wasn't too bad. Kind of wish the scrap yards weren't closed. I'd go empty some of these. But all the scrap yards are shut down until further notice because of the coronavirus. But good days are coming. You watch, guys. So uh, just remember, scrap is everywhere. All you got to do is find it, sort it, and hoard it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.